Section 8.4, testing a claim about a mean sigma unknown. So the population standard deviation is not given. So since we know the basics of finding a hypothesis tests, let's start off talking about critical values for this situation. For these type of problems, we will be using the t-table to find critical values. Remember, you can only use the t-table if we have a sample that comes from a normally distributed population or our sample size is greater than or equal to 30. So essentially n greater than or equal to 30. Remember, this is because if you don't have a normal distribution, that once you get samples of this size, the sample itself becomes normally distributed. Since we will be using the t-table, don't forget that for degrees of freedom, we use n minus 1, the sample size minus 1. And on the t-table, there is a separate row at the top for a one or two-tail test. This means that when calculating your hypothesis test, you do not need to calculate alpha over 2 for a two-tail test since there's an actual row for that. When it comes to using that table, it only provides positive values. So if you have a left tail test, don't forget that the number that you found in the middle of the table needs to be changed to a negative number. And when working with a two-tail test, even though you'll be using the row at the top that says two tails, the table value needs plus or minus in front of it.